Hey everyone, I'm Toby and today we'll quickly learn how to overlay moving images to a Polaroid photo. Before we begin, please initiate by subscribing to the channel, that would really help me out. So Blade Runner 2049 has this really cool effect where Joe is looking at a Polaroid in a bar, but the image is actually cycling a video. Um, a similar effect has also been seen in the Harry Potter films with the newspapers where the, the photo is like cycling around in a loop and it's a really cool effect. Now this effect requires some planning on set during your production. Uh, basically what you need to do is print out, you can make them on Photoshop, make out and print some pieces of card or paper that are green and got markers on them in the corners. So yeah, I just designed mine quickly on Photoshop and printed out a few in different sizes so I could choose on set which size worked best. After filming my shot, I brought it into After Effects which is where we can replace the green card with the moving image. First, we're going to create a null object. Then with our video layer selected, we're going to track the green markers on each corner of our piece of paper using the motion tracker with position and rotation selected. We're going to hit the play button to analyze forwards and let it do its thing. Now we're going to apply the data to our null object. The next step is to add our video or background or text or whatever you want to actually appear on the piece of paper. I created my loading text in Photoshop and then brought that in, um, but I also filmed another shot a few months ago. I, for this project, I just used an old piece of footage, but you might want to use something specifically. Whatever it is, bring it into After Effects and just put it in the project. We then need to resize, position, and use the mesh warp on our video layer so that it matches the deformity of the paper. So next we're going to parent this layer, or if there's more than one layer, parent these layers to the null object that we've tracked. Uh, the last thing we're going to do is reduce any green spill from the card. So you see here we've got the thumb that's covering the bit of the green card. We want to use the green uh, as a mask as you would with any sort of green screen uh, to remove the green so that the card is sitting behind the thumb. We're going to do this by using built-in effects from After Effects. We're going to use Key Light, Key Cleaner and Advanced Spill Suppressor to remove any last traces of green from our shot. You can see here some of the settings I've got and if you want to just pause the video and have a look at them of what I've got, then uh, do that. I find this works best for me. Obviously you can do cooler things like adding a transition between scenes, but this was just a quick explanation as to how to do the basic setup. And that's it guys, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more easy, straight to the point tutorials. Next week we'll be looking at tracking background images to live action scenes. So please feel free to leave any suggestions for tutorials down in the comment section as well. And that's it from me guys, I'll see you next time on Robot Boy.